guys, today I am back in our master bathroom for another cleaning video. I have a video that's full of my tips for how I clean a marble shower. So my shower is completely marble and you have to be extra careful with marble so that you don't etch the finish on it, dull it, or actually stain the marble. But a few of you are asking about how I clean the glass shower door, so let's get into that today. As you can see, in the name of science, I have let the water stains, the hard water stains on the shower door build up. So we have a water softener in our house, and this is probably months and months and months of build up actually. So I'm sure if we didn't have that um, water softener, it would be a lot worse than this. So some of you that don't have a water softener and your city has particularly hard water, I'm sure you have to deal with this a lot more frequently than I'm going to. So I'm going to say that you're going to need to use this as often as you need to. I'm not going to give you a timeline just when you feel like you've got too many water spots or if this needs to be something that you do weekly when I do it every four or five months. That's just how it is with uh, the hard water in your house. So just do it as often as you need. I put some towels down on my floor just so I don't have to clean baking soda out of my rug. After doing tons of research online, I've decided on this approach for cleaning the shower glass in my marble shower. Now vinegar is very acidic, guys. You do not want to let this get on your marble. It will etch your marble. I don't know how quickly that would happen. I don't, maybe you'd have to use it in your shower 20 times before you start seeing dulling or stains. I don't know. I don't want to experiment with it and find out. I just know I'm not gonna let that vinegar get onto my marble anywhere in the shower. Baking soda is more of a neutral, so it's safe enough to use for cleaning, but I'm always gonna make sure to rinse it clean off of the marble. I'm not gonna let anything really sit on the marble other than the shampoo and soap that's already in there. And just a little science lesson quickly. If you mix baking soda and vinegar together, it's gonna fizz, it's gonna look really cool, but that fizzy, it, that fizziness is not going to help clean your shower. It's not helping scrub anything away. It's a chemical reaction that's actually turning that vinegar and baking soda into a salty water, basically. So salty water is not gonna clean anything. I'm using these products separately. You can't skip a step by mixing these two things together. Okay. To get started, I have just plain vinegar in this container. There's no water or anything mixed in. And like I said, I'm gonna use this sponge. You should use gloves. I couldn't find my gloves. So I had an old one that I was staining furniture with and it's missing a finger. So that poor finger is gonna to have to just suffer. I recommend having a whole glove. Again, get all the drips out. Okay, and I'm doing the same thing on the fixed side of the shower door. So the part of the shower door that doesn't move. And I put a little hand towel down to protect the marble near the glass. As you can see, even with a squeezed out sponge, I'm able to get a lot of moisture in the store so that the vinegar can sit on those hard water stains and really start to break them down. I'm gonna let this sit on this glass for 10 minutes and see how it works. Okay, so I took uh, the wet clean rag, wiped down the vinegar off the glass, and as you can see, I'm left with the worst parts of the water stain still on the glass door. Now, I could keep going back and forth with the vinegar, let it work, wipe it down, scrub it in a little bit with uh, this type of a pad that's not going to scratch the glass, but it is going to help you work against that mineral buildup. But now I think I'm actually gonna move on to baking soda in this pad. So baking soda is a little bit more abrasive, but it's still not gonna scratch your glass and it's gonna help you scrub off some of those hard water stains. So now this is the part where the elbow grease or the work comes in.
So I'm just going to sprinkle some of this onto a wet sponge, this sponge. And I'll link to everything and include everything in the description below in case you guys want to use the same products. Check it out. Okay, so now I've scrubbed this glass with the baking soda and water on that sponge and I'm ready to wipe it down with just water on a rag again. As you can see, all of those dark white mineral buildup, all of that hard water stain that was built up on this glass is gone. So now that all that scrubbing is done, I am going to get everything out of here, jump in the shower, rinse all of this stuff off, make sure there's no baking soda left in my shower, make sure it's perfectly clean, and then I'll show you guys the final doors. Okay, and here is a look at the finished clean door. Looking just like it did when we first installed it. And if you want to see more of my cleaning videos, I have a car cleaning video that is really amazing. I let chocolate milk stains from my toddlers build up on that car and I found a way to clean those seats and make them look almost new again for a 10 year old car. So check out that video. I'll put a link to it below. And as always, there are a million different ways to clean things. So if you want to add your own tip, tips or tricks into the comments below, I would love to hear from you guys. So leave your comments and thanks.